My name is Jake Keller. Uh, I'm a student, a PhD student in electrical engineering, and this is my seventh year at State. Uh, my name is Jeremy Hosang. I'm a senior in mechanical engineering, and I'm president of the Underwater Robotics Club. What we do is we build autonomous underwater vehicles to participate in a competition called RoboSub, which is uh, held in San Diego every year. We build the robot to complete a variety of tasks based around computer vision and a passive sonar system and we interact with the course by piloting through certain tasks, interacting with the environment, doing things like uh, grabbing buoys, firing torpedoes, uh, and stuff of that matter. There's a decent amount when it comes to just robotics as a, as a whole that you have, to be, you have to be willing to work in an interdisciplinary environment. So there are a lot of skills that you can't pick up if you are just limiting yourself to one field. And uh, I think that's true for this club as well. We're open to all different majors and we've had people from you know, majors you might not expect working on different teams. We have someone who's um, material science currently on the software team. We've had people in biomedical, in the mechanical team, chemical on the electrical team. So you get to kind of dip your fingers in a couple different fields if you want to. You can kind of cross over. Um, and because there's so many different majors and so many different um, areas kind of intersecting, you can work either on the boundary between them uh, kind of drift between the two. It's just a matter of being interested in the club and the work we have to do and being there to put in the time. A lot of what we do goes beyond the classroom, so is isn't even stuff that's uh, kind of taught in our normal coursework. So um, being in a particular major that's relevant has, you know, the basic advantages of having the background knowledge, but um, the things that you need to know to be in the club are largely outside of the classroom, so uh, your major isn't as relevant and we spend a lot of time trying to have the resources and spending time to train new members to be able to do what they need to do. Uh, on the other hand, at a certain point, you got to leave the nest and since there's a lot of things that we don't know how to do, there's a lot of opportunity to push the envelope on your own and learn outside the classroom. What really got me in the club was I was looking for uh, an engineering student organization that I could uh, I could put the skills uh, I've learned in class to, to good use, and I think the Robotics Club has done a really good job of that. Uh, I've improved my problem solving skills and prototyping uh, through various projects that we've had here at the club. What we do on the robot is all custom made, so like the, a lot of the mounts, they're 3D printed, we have to drop the 3D models for that, and there aren't too many engineering classes out there uh, here at State that really teach you how to optimize your 3D modeling, how to optimize your manufacturing, how to how to even go about thinking about how to solve these problems using custom components. But the skills and uh, lessons you learn in the club apply um, very well to industry and for the research and uh, whether you're going into academia or industry, there's lessons to learn there. I say that the club's a good experience if you're looking for um, if you're looking for an opportunity to improve your leadership skills, uh, improve your even presentation skills. If you're looking to join URC, you're definitely, you're definitely in for a treat uh, when it comes to learning the practical skills from your engineering classes and applying them to an actual project uh, and working within a team environment that can, that can really uh, bolster your resume and make you a standout candidate. We teach you what you need to know. Um, so it doesn't matter what your major is, doesn't matter how much experience you have. Um, because a lot of us come in not thinking we know enough to join the club. Uh, and frankly, the people who think they already have enough knowledge have a lot to learn as well. So um, don't be afraid to just you know, reach out, come to a meeting, and see what's what. Um, we're here to help you, but also here to challenge you to do uh, some work on your own and really grow.